to Mod Pod with Fuka Naka, a podcast that celebrates the strength and pulse of the luxury market. And now, here's your host, Vanessa Fukunaga. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mod Pod with Fukunaga. And today's special guest is Gabby Gutierrez, who is the Northwestern, Northwest, oh, I almost had it without looking, <laughs> Regional Director at Banca Mifel. Welcome. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you for inviting me. It's been uh, a pleasure to have be here. Thank you so much. Now we know we we already know each other, but so today is going to be really fun, interesting, and we want to get to know you and have the audience get to know you and Banco Mifel even more. Great. Thank you for wearing green, the color of the money in the U.S. because Mexican money has uh, other colors. Do you know the history of Mexican money and why uh, that is? Yeah. Well. Not really the history, mm-hmm. but I think is because we want to share with the world mm-hmm. through the bills mm-hmm. um, the history of the country. Just like in the U.S., uh-huh. but the, I know it's confusing. <laughs> it's very confusing for foreigners, you know, to deal with the with the bills. Well, it's confusing for Mexicans too. <laughs> Uh, but because they, all of them have uh, different sizes, mm-hmm. different colors, mm-hmm. and of course different numbers. So yeah, it, it could get uh, confused. And I think that's the reason why uh, people from the States or from uh, Canada, mm-hmm. they don't want to change uh, money, I mean dollars to pesos to, you know, give tips or you're not paying because It gets so confusing. (laughs) It does get confusing. Although I don't think, I usually, I pay everything in pesos, though. Yeah. I do, because I'm here permanently. Just, uh, yeah. Me too. Obviously. (laughs) Me too. And we had just the bill change. Remember when the 50s Mm -hmm. changed colors? So why would that happen? I'm just so curious. Why would we change colors? The design and the quality of the bills. Uh Uh-huh. It does feel different. Actually, I have a a friend. Uh Uh-huh. I think you might know her. It's Laura Bueno. Mm -hmm. And she uh, wrote the whole history of the bills in in Mexico. Okay. And uh, she was telling me that she's going to the Central Bank of Mexico to find out how uh, how to print the bills and why do they design the bills the way that uh, that they are now. Oh, how Can interesting. You believe it? No, I yeah. did not know yeah, that. Yeah, Where's yeah. my friend? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I did I know. not know that. I think it's really, really interesting. It's very interesting, but it's, it's again, it's a sign of Mexican culture, uh-huh. even the money. Even the money. Mm-hmm. Even the money, there's even history the there. Money. I like it. Yeah. So tell me, how did you get into the banking industry? Oh, my God, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> well, Because um, you were born in Ecuador. I'm Ecuadorian. Actually, okay. I lived there up to uh, 16 years ago. Oh. And I came to Los Cabos because I got married to a Mexican and had my kids in Ecuador. Mm-hmm. And we just came here because his family um, lives here. Okay. So we came here and uh, I was going to be, I was in real estate mm-hmm. in Ecuador and it had to do with finances, but not really. In fact, my career is not finances, it's, uh, it's public relations. Mm-hmm. So when I came here, I was pretending to be a housewife and a, <laughs> and a really good mom, you know, mm-hmm. but, uh, but always uh, worked since I was uh, 19. Mm-hmm. So I was like just looking at the destination and seeing what, what were the opportunities there. And I was, uh, I was thinking, I'm not working in a thing that is not really me. Mm-hmm. So working for hotels or tourism was not really me. So I just started to to see uh, uh, job opportunities in a in a web page, mm-hmm. and uh, and found one opportunity in in uh, in another bank in BBVA where mm-hmm. I started, mm-hmm. and they were looking for an executive a bilingual person for being an executive for uh, for the thing that they were calling preferred customers unit. Mm-hmm. So I started there. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they hired me. (laughs) I was Ecuadorian, not in finances. I mean, uh, well, I was nice. I think that was the the thing. They saw your capabilities. But 
uh, the thing is, is it, I grow and grow, and I had to take these, uh, these exams because being an executive, of being a, um, a person that uh, gives the service or gives the, the information or gives mm -hmm. the advice, in, in Mexico, mm -hmm. you have to comply with certain things and pass certain exams with the stock market of Mexico. So I had wow. to uh, make the exams and, and, and I'm, I'm now a strategic uh, person mm -hmm. uh, for finances, really qualified by the, by the Mexican stock market. Wow. So I had to study. I used to cry because I was <laughs> like, oh my God, what is this? But now... <laughs> I'm in love with all finances. I'm I in love, love with uh, with all these uh, indicators, with all the stock market, mm -hmm. with inflation, with the dollar, with the stock market, everything. And then I'm really passionate um, about them. Wow. And yeah, so I I started to do things with finances. Mm -hmm. I'm part of uh, of this uh, institution, this association that is the, the Mexican Association of Executives of Finances. Wow. 2,000 people around the, uh, around Mexico mm -hmm. and I'm the president of uh, Baja California Sur Group. Is it the and IMF? Yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's, uh, that's the thing. So I'm um, the president then and we are in charge of um, share information of finances mm -hmm. and uh, try to share all the information with the decision uh, takers. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, in, in the group, we have uh, um, all the CFOs mm -hmm. for the hotels, for the developments, all of them are in the group. Mm -hmm. So we are always trying to get and give information of uh, finances to just take decisions. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, I think I found my really purpose in life. And I think it's, it's that, is just give information, this, um, be with people and uh, try to um, make uh, them to be better in handling money. I love that. So we should do a celebratory drink. Not everybody oh, yeah. loves their jobs like that. You're so passionate about it, Francisco. Yeah. And of course, we're here in La Boutica, Hola. who's our Hi, big sponsor. Hola, Francisco. How are you? Fine. Nice. ¿Qué tenemos? Thank the easy you. skinny margarita. Oh. God. <laughs> Classic. Classico. Classico. Oh, okay. Cheers. Yeah. cheers. cheers. Gracias. Thank Salud. You. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for inviting me. Salud. Salud. Mm. Mm hmm. Very good. It is good. Mm -hmm. I like a good skinny margarita. Yeah, me too. What mm -hmm. would you normally have as a cocktail? Are you a wine drinker? I do margarita. like wine. Uh -huh. I like margaritas. I, I was telling the girls, and they, they were asking me, what's your favorite drink? But not alcohol. And I was like, coffee. Oh, no, no. That's not a drink. <laughs> well, margarita. Margarita. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm not a big wine drinker. Are you? I like wine. I like some. Um, yeah. I like going, I mean, I like all the ceremony about wine. That's a great yeah. way to say it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the, all the ceremony that you have to combine it with mm -hmm. the good food and uh, the colors and the the smell. I, I was telling my, my one of my kids, I have to, and he was like, how can you like uh, to drink wine? <laughs> it's awful. I mean, it, it tasted bad That's because he good. was 15. Uh -huh. So um, I went to Valle de Guadalupe uh -huh. and learned about, you know, all the preparation and all the thing. And, um, and it came that uh, when you drink uh, wine, mm -hmm. it you get memories. When you drink wine, you get memories. Yeah. That sounds like somebody yeah. that is selling wine I know. gave you that phrase. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was thinking that you, when you smell the wine or taste the wine, it gets to another place. It gets you to, you know, uh, rem to memories. So I was. Gabby, were you drunk? <laughs> no. And I was telling my boy, I was telling my boy, I, I was telling him, you know, you don't have enough memories. That's exactly. why you don't enjoy wine. That's After why you're. Yeah. That's I, why you can't drink until you're 21. Exactly. Exactly. That's the reason why. What's the drinking age here in Mexico? 
18? It's 18. It's 18. Interesting. It's 18, yeah. <laughs> See around the, the, the spring breakers. Uh, yeah, you that's very... That. Very true. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. So tell me, so you were in Ecuador, you came here um, because of your husband, and now you're in this amazing was amazing job. You're also doing lectures around I finance. Do. Yeah, around finance to young people in uh, high schools, because I think in Mexico uh, there's a lack of information, there's a lack of education about finances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you get out of the of the high school and you don't know what uh, what is a bank, mm -hmm. what does a bank, mm -hmm. what's the what's the what's the meaning of handling money, when to get a credit card, when to get a mortgage loan, when to invest, yes. when to open just a regular account. Yes. And, uh, you st maybe you start working and you don't know to, how to take care of your money, mm -hmm. how to spend it or invest in or that. So uh, I'm giving lectures to high school students wow. and, uh, and also in universities. In universities, I give uh, uh, not finances, it's like um, advice about uh, handling money mm -hmm. and also about leadership because uh, mm -hmm. working for a bank is giving me the opportunity of being with people and teach people and make like uh, high performance teams because when you work for a bank you have to take care of every detail you're you're dealing with the with the, a third party money mm -hmm. and uh, and you have to be careful and be just uh, so precise so exact so uh, so dealing with that people makes you deal with your team mm -hmm. and make them like a high performance team mm -hmm. so i give lectures about um, leadership also so how what would you say would be maybe your top three um, recommendations or tips or tricks from a leadership standpoint is um it's confidence. our audience meaning vanessa wants to know <laughs> <laughs> It's, I'm always um, wanting to learn. Tell you me. You have to make them make a commitment with you. Because we don't make commitments with institutions. Mm -hmm. We don't make commitments with a, with a house. We don't make commitments with... A, you make commitments with people. Mm -hmm. So if you know the person and the person know, knows you, mm -hmm. you make a commitment. So you have to make a commitment with your team, with every one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's one, uh, one tip, make a commitment. And I that's like that. knowing the person mm -hmm. first to make a commitment. And uh, the second one is knowing um, their other uh, strengths and their weakness. Mm -hmm. Weaknesses. Weaknesses, yeah, to focus on the strengths. Mm -hmm. Because the witnesses, I know we have them, everybody. and uh, everybody has uh, weaknesses. But uh, but you have to focus on your strengths mm -hmm. to make them grow, to make uh, to make them uh, be uh, so part of you that only you can have that. Mm -hmm. And that that's the second tip I have, and those are the only two tips I have. Ah, and if you want more, we'll have to follow her on the lecture tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in fact, I, I wrote for a book in, in uh, about leadership. Oh, I saw that, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. And that was yeah. what, from zero to... To success. Success, exactly. Uh, yeah. de, de cero a éxito. Éxito. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was I, only 10 pages. But, it's uh, only 10 pages of being a pu published author. <laughs> No, no yeah, big deal. But, but I'm uh, working on on a, on a book of my own. You are? Yes, I am. Okay, about? It's about uh, finances and emotions. Interesting. And, uh, it, it's like analogies with the terms of finances mm -hmm. dealing with uh, emotions. I think it's a girl's book. <laughs> But uh, but still, it could be useful. You oh, know. No, it's definitely for <laughs> yeah. men too. Some men are m more emotional than women. Some yeah, women. Yes, yes, it could be. But it, this this has to be with you know experiences that uh -huh. you that you can um, remember. 
mm -hmm. uh, things, things like the wine and the memories, mm -hmm. it's the same, finances and emotions. Mm -hmm. Are you combining wine with spending money? Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, yeah, so I'm working on that. When does the book come out? Um, I think this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I recently changed uh, my, when I found my purpose in life, mm -hmm. um, I changed also some activities that I used uh, to make. I was so focused in my work, in my kids, and everybody else but me. Uh -huh. So when I focused on me, starting focused on me, I found out that I had to write. Okay. So I have a schedule for me mm -hmm. uh, in all my agenda, mm -hmm. and uh, and I write on Sundays to, for two hours. Wow. So, yeah, so I have the schedule, and I make my space, and I go. <laughs> so I hope I, I, I have the book by this year. By this year? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a title, or is it secret? Uh, I have a title, but uh, I don't want Working to... Working title. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's okay. No. Yeah, just, we'll, uh, we'll get the book later, and then we'll <laughs> announce to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, you are the Northwest Regional Director for Banco Mifel. Mm -hmm. And how many locations is that? Tell me a bit, a bit about Banco Mifel. Well, here in, in uh, Baja California Sur, we have just two locations in Los Cabos. Mm -hmm. It's one in Cabo San Lucas and one in San Jose. Mm -hmm. And uh, in total, in Banco Mifel has 80, 80 branches. It's a boutique bank, so mm -hmm. uh, we don't have many branches. It's not a retail bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, we deal with... Uh, uh, private uh, banking mm -hmm. and also with corporate banking mm -hmm. and uh, that's uh, why I'm the regional manager because I handle the two um, the two branches but mm -hmm. also all the corporate um, the corporate banking uh -huh. and also to, also the trust department for the fideicomisos for um, for the foreigners mm -hmm. that, uh, that have want to uh, own their real properties. estate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they want a real estate. Uh -huh. So it's a combination of uh, of uh, several services that we have here, and uh, actually the the Los Cabos branches are very high performance mm -hmm. um, branches, uh, you know, in Mexico. Because the market here in Los Cabos is so special. And I think the uh -huh. magic of uh, work uh, for a bank, like a, like a boutique bank, mm -hmm. is that you, you can make uh, tailor-made uh, services. Mm -hmm. So we are adapting ourselves to the market not pretending to be a bank that is uh, that uh, has the products and, uh, and deliver them mm -hmm. uh, widely. Mm -hmm. No, we adapt the service to the market mm -hmm. of Los Cabos in this uh, particular case that uh, if we want to talk about finances in Los Cabos, mm -hmm. it's all different from the rest of Mexico. It's all in the, the indicators are all uh, all different from Mexico. <laughs> so throw away what you know. Los yeah, Cabos throw is away. Totally Los Cabos different. is different. <laughs> and, and we, you know, everyone is saying that, but uh, when you talk about numbers, you can see them. Mm -hmm. And numbers don't lie. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's why my math teacher used to always say there's only one right answer. Yeah. In math, there's only one right exactly. answer. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Numbers don't lie. Yes, that's very true. How many employees, approximately? Here, uh, well, in Mexico, is uh, 1,500 employees. Oh, wow. And here, we have 31. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. And you guys are big sponsors of a couple of big events. Oh, yeah. Right? So, mm -hmm. well, first of all, the Pumas. Mm -hmm. Right? And somebody just told me that and brought us a shirt, I think. <laughs> Let me see this. Look at how cute this is. Yeah, it is. It is. Isn't that cute? Yeah. The Pumas by Bank on the Fell. Yeah, we we um, sponsor some uh, events of sports. Mm -hmm. We like sports. We like uh, you know wellness and everything. Mm -hmm. And also here the the tennis tournament. In fact, I. I um, I'm in Banca Mifel because of the tennis tournament. Oh, you are? Yeah, because um, when... Uh, Did you go to the ATP and meet somebody? Yeah, yeah I, I went to the ATP <laughs> in, uh, in the first one. Uh -huh. 
And I was invited but by a client when I used to work in BBVA mm -hmm. and, uh, and met uh, the people from Banca Mifel. Mm -hmm. And they were asking me questions, you know, about banking here and what's, how's the business. And mm -hmm. that's public information, you mm -hmm. know. It's, uh, everything knows about it. So I was explaining them about how, how is the market different here in uh -huh. the scouts and everything. And they got so interested in opening a, a, an office here. Uh -huh. So afterwards, they they uh, called me and said, you know, we want you to be in charge of opening the, the bank here. And I was like, oh, all of a sudden, <laughs> it was surprising for me. Uh -huh. So I just was like, uh, well, let, let's see if we can do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the, day, the year after the first tournament, I was employee. I, I was hired by <laughs> Banca Mifel. Wow. And uh, yeah, so I mean, all the ATPs. Mm -hmm. And uh, those, those are, are so, so fun. much fun. <laughs> oh, so goodness, much fun. So much fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a big party. It is. But uh, with a show. With a little ready. tennis, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so much fun. It's so it much is. fun. And it, it has become more popular. Bigger and, and bigger. And you know, when, when we started, it was August. I mean, I in know. August is so hot. Nobody comes here in Los Cabos for August <laughs> of the, September. All, all of the people is out. But with the tournament. But we're here. Yeah, we're here. I, I'm always here. <laughs> and uh, with the tournament, they are coming. Mm -hmm. They are coming from. Uh, they are, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are coming. It's a big tournament, and they are coming from all the cities in the in Mexico. Mm -hmm. They want to follow the tennis, uh, the tennis players. Mm -hmm. They want to follow the tournament. So. It's a, it's a big party. No, I think it's really, really great. Mm -hmm. But is it a wellness thing? That's why you chose football and tennis? Tennis, or and now we are sponsoring uh, all, uh, also a tournament. It's a, it's a marathon mm -hmm. in, of the hospitals in Mexico. Oh, the that's ABC. nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not uh, participating. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and want. <laughs> we, can be, we can be on the side having a skinny margarita. Yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> so tell me, I want to circle back. You are in uh, Bank of Mifel now. You started these lectures. You've got this passion. You're teaching these high school kids that these, what I think can be really important lessons, whether you're in high school or you are an adult in the working force. What would maybe your top three tips that you would give to somebody in terms of managing their money mm -hmm. the best? Uh, yeah. Or principles? Well, principles uh, for everyone, not mm -hmm. only high school, mm -hmm. but also adults, mm -hmm. is that you have to take care of your uh, health uh, of finances, your finances health, mm -hmm. uh, which includes knowing uh, how is your uh, score, Mm -hmm. Like, like uh, it's, it's called Buro de Credito. Mm -hmm. And you have to be aware of what you do historically. Mm -hmm. Because all you're doing with your money is reflected there. Mm -hmm. So it's like making a blood test. That's that true. It shows you whatever you're eating mm -hmm. or not eating. <laughs> and it's the same. So that report has to, um, you have to get it every six months and watch your uh, health in finance, okay. in money. Okay. So that's the first That's uh, the first. Step. Okay. And then the second one is be aware of what is in your place, in your market, to be smart, to spend or invest. Okay. Okay. And, uh, for example, what I always say here in Los Cabos is uh, the time to get a mortgage loan mm -hmm. in pesos uh, is always a good opportunity. Okay. So you have to get a mortgage loan because, a mortgage loan because uh, the, the interest rate that you pay for the for the house mm -hmm. that you're buying mm -hmm. is always less than the um, 
the equity that you're receiving for your property. Okay. That's in Los Cabos, it's not in the rest. You have to look even the rest of Mexico. Certain places, is, uh, it could be the same, mm -hmm. but not, not all of them. Okay. So that's, that's my second advice, when to get a mortgage loan mm -hmm. and when to get a property. And uh, the third one is always um, diversify your, uh, your income in whatever you have okay. as a wealth. So you always diversify. In what? Uh, some in property, some in the bank, some in uh, insurance uh, policy, some in in um, in, uh, in other instruments of mm -hmm. stocks or whatever. So you have to uh, be like uh, aware of what's in the market to get the best opportunities. So you make finances sound so interesting. I'm thinking, yes, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> tell me more. I could listen to you talk it all day. It's so fun. It's so important. Uh -huh. It's so important. And it, has, it, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be a pain, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has to be fun. Mm -hmm. So we have to have fun. Have fun doing things. Doing your money. I mean, it's, it's your working, what you're talking about. It's your time. Right. So time is money. Money has to be um, a part of yourself. Mm -hmm. A part of it, like it's time, like it's, it's your health. Mm -hmm. So it has to be a part of yourself. You have to love the money that you make. Mm -hmm. So when you love something, you have to be wise investing it. Mm -hmm. You have to be wise spending it. Mm -hmm. So, and I yeah. think everybody, the entire world, learned a big, big lesson over the past couple of years about mm -hmm. um, financial health. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And what that means, because it's different for everybody. I know. Right. It's different. It's like the pandemic was different for everybody. Yeah. And talking about that, I, 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 banks are as an essential activity. Mm -hmm. So we didn't uh, have to the opportunity of be in a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really, uh -huh. because we were like uh, That's doctors. That's true. You were like doctors. So yeah. if you compare that, it's, it's financial health. It's true. With your health. That's a great way to put it. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, how interesting. Well, I can't wait for us to even speak more. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we have a little special thing that we do here. It's okay. called the Mod Pod Experience. Okay. And it's different every time, so I never know what's going to happen. <laughs> usually okay. I end up making a fool of myself. That's usually what happens. <laughs> Let's see. I have to see what today's uh, Mod Pod Experience is. I know. Where's, where's Estefania? Okay. I know we, it involves a piggy bank. If I receive $100 for my salary, how much should I save? That's not part of the Mod Pod experience. I just want, would like to know your uh, thought on that. 10%. 10%. Every time I get a dollar mm -hmm. for whatever I do from yeah. my diversified portfolio, is that mm -hmm. because, I, because I'm following your directions, mm -hmm. yes. I want to save 10 cents. Okay, I shouldn't say it. Every time I get a peso. <laughs> Every time I... You I'm in Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, you're in Mexico. Every, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 10%. 10%. Good to know. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask my own questions in the middle of this Mod okay. Pod experience. All right. Let's see. The Mod Pod experience today. Okay. okay. Oh, my gosh. It's for both of us. You ready? Okay. Okay. Gabby. Okay. Is going to draw like Pictionary. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're going to so have to describe. Okay. No, you know what's going to happen? I'm never going to be able to guess. This oh, is terrible. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Your top three. Oh, maybe, maybe we can guess it because I asked her. The top three tips for managing finances. Okay. Oh my gosh. But you have to do it in picture form. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm never going to get these. Okay. Your top three tips for managing finances. I have to guess what those tips are. Mm -hmm. And then I actually brought a little bit of as we call it here, moneda. Okay. Right? So, and here's where it's always hard too, because here we're using a lot of coins in Mexico. Yeah, I know. Don't you find that? And normally oh, yeah. we, in the States, we would, I would always keep my coins, just, and I do that uh -huh. here, and then I cash them in and put them in the bank. Okay. What do you, what do, you do with all it, or do you spend I it all the time? I put it in the, no, no. Yeah, I mostly spend all those uh, coins. You do? Yeah, because I give uh, them to my kids. That's oh. spending. <laughs> that is spending. <laughs> That's spending. That is spending. <laughs> but it's interesting with all the different sizes and, right? It's even just like our paper bills. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so with, we'll put a coin in every time that I get one right. 
this, you this have is all large me. coins there. I, mm. I know, isn't that good? So we have, how many different coins are there? In, not here, but in oh, the, our Mexican currency. We would have a peso, then, no, 52 10 cents. I oh, mean, that's a lot. But it goes from one? From one to 10 cents. Yeah, right? Oh, no, no to one 10 to, cents to 10 pesos. To 10 pesos, yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready? So your top three tips okay. for managing finances. Hold on. It's going to be loud. Okay, there we go. <sighs> and you have to do it in picture form. This could be embarrassing, too, because Gabby also teaches high school kids that will probably get this quicker than I will. Okay, hold on. All right, so I'm going to show the audience because I would like a fair oh shot. <laughs> so people can actually see. I'm just trying but to get them to blame you. you. We were okay. talking about it. Exactly. I can guess that this is um, know your history and know your credit score. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's put a coin in the piggy bank. Let's both. I'll take the biggest one, too. Oh, yeah. Let's put this. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We're going to be rich. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Do another one, please. I like this, and I'm on that 10% savings. You, is that just a general thing you preach to everybody? And what about as you're, as you're writing, as you're drawing my thing? Um, uh, tips for stocks, since you kind of threw that out there before, your passion for the stock market and giving advice? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I always, <laughs> okay, guess this. Okay, guess, she goes, guess this. Oh, you forgot to put number two on there. Because I, I, only, I only noticed that because you put number Wait, one. Wait, let me, let me just. Oh, now she's, you know, yes. Vincent yeah, van yeah, Gogh. Yeah, the details, details. Okay. <laughs> it is all about the details. Okay, so this is. <clears throat> <laughs> This looks like money in a purse? No. No, this is not money in a purse. This is totally, whatever it is, whatever you're thinking, it's not money in a purse. It is a... <laughs> oh my gosh! What is this? Okay. It looks it like, a like a lock. It's like a basket. <laughs> it's a basket. Okay, it does look more like a basket full mm -hmm. of money. Basket, but it, it is not a basket of money. It's a basket of don't put all your. In. Oh my gosh, that's very clever. <gasps> it's don't put all your eggs in the same basket, mm -hmm. which means diversify your portfolio. Yes. Oh, we did it together. We did it with help. We can put money in. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's put money in. <laughs> okay, now your last tip for managing finances. Okay. See, this is why we need Gabby, because when she's drawing this for me, she's going to help me. Okay. <laughs> okay, what was the third one? What was the third one? What? I don't remember the third one. Okay, no, let's, because you have so many. Just we just did three. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> Although it would be easier for me if she would do the third one, even though I didn't remember the second one. <laughs> okay, okay. And since I'm not doing finances right now, I'll go ahead and have a sip of margarita. Yeah. Oh, my God. What was the third one? It mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. know your credit score, diversify your portfolio, mm -hmm. and what's the third one we were saying? I know you have 100 tips. Yeah, I but know. But just in general, just forget what we said. Okay. Any, t any tip you have, you're just trying to make it easy. Mm -hmm. She's just trying to make it easy on me because okay, she's got okay. a million tips. Um, Okay. Oh. And I love the fact that Gabby had no knowledge about this Pictionary situation, and she's totally into the drawing. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. This is number three. Okay. And I like this one. I think I'm interpreting it correctly because I'm a biz. Is that correct? Uh -huh. This looks like a house and money and invest in real estate. Whoa, give me a high five. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Invest in real estate. So tell us why. Uh, I was telling you. I mean, you I will tell you in, why. In, but. In, in, yeah. <laughs> that in Los Cabos, we have a, a high performance uh, equity mm -hmm. when you buy a property. Mm -hmm. And also, you can get... Um, income 
of your property, not only living in the property, but buying the property as an investment mm -hmm. because you can rent it or you can or you can sell it afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea mm -hmm. to invest as a diversified investment in real estate. And if you add something to that uh, property, that is if you buy it with a mortgage loan, mm -hmm. um, just seeing what are you going to have as an income, uh, you can pay the mortgage loan with your income and still have money left. That is great advice. That is great advice. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. I don't know how you can make finances fun. Did we put money in for that last one? No. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, grab okay. what you like. I'm taking I'm two because I'm just feeling like I'm going to invest in the property. Oh, and yeah. what's your best um, advice for the real estate company that they should use? Uh, that uh, uh, when it's time to buy, no, I said, what is, the, what is your recommendation for the real yeah. estate company to use? Whether they oh. want to list or sell or buy a property, which real estate company should they use? Uh, they should use the Snell real estate <laughs> company. I'm trying to tee it up for yeah, you. Yeah. Angela Volker Snell real but estate. But you have to use Vanessa. Vanessa. <laughs> so I'm going to buy the house. We'll do it with that one. And I will have purchased it using yeah. a mortgage loan. Yeah. Because now I'm going to make extra money. Yes. <laughs> there. Thank you so much. Thanks for being a part of this. Thanks for making finances yeah. fun and interesting. Huh, thank you. Congratulations thank you. on an amazing life, an amazing career. Oh, and, you. you know, we're neighbors, we're friends, we're here. Oh, yeah. We do business. Yeah. So we're you always wear green. together. <laughs> I wear yeah. green, yeah. the color of somebody's money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thanks again, Gabby. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. And stay tuned for future episodes of Mod Pod with Fukunaga on all your podcast channels. Salud. 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 Thanks for listening to Mod Pod with Fukunaga. Follow the episodes on all major podcast platforms, including Apple, Spotify, Amazon, and many more.